Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be continuing our Trackmania Royal tutorial series. We're doing a drive through of today's new map. And I'll explain to you if there's any tips or strategies to help you guys learn it a bit better. Hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial series. If you are, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And for now, let's jump on into the video. Okay, so here we are. On today's new map, it is called uh, Ease Meltdown by ZS Sork. Zork. I'm not 100% sure how it's pronounced, I'm sorry, but uh, I believe it's his first map in the pool. He might have had one earlier. I can't remember, but I believe it's his first map. Um, I'm not too much of a fan, personally. Uh, the, the starts are very awkward. I think this booster into this this sort of setup here is just, is just kind of weird to get used to. A bit deliberately troll and unnecessarily troll, especially the blue start. I think it's fine. The other ones are manageable, but the amount of times I had to reset on this blue start to get this here jump right is just kind of ridiculous. I think the blue really shouldn't be like it is. I think blue is, is probably the worst in my opinion. Um, the blue section is just really, really bad on this map, I think. Um, the black section isn't great either. It's just a case of throw as many blocks as you can on a map and see what happens. That's what it feels like. Like he has just got so many blocks just unnecessarily placed here in my opinion. I really don't think... All these blocks are necessary. Um, I think white and green are good. Blues, yeah, blue's not great. Uh, reds, weird as well. I, I just think it's just a little bit weird of a map. Maybe just trying to do a little bit too much, trying to be a little bit too different. And it just it just doesn't work for me, personally. But anyway, let's jump on it and have a go. So for the white section, what we want to do is, once again, we have this start where we go over these boosters and then we want to drop down this, basically and a jump through the finish. And that's kind of how we do the start, except the blue section just feels a little bit weird. Uh, but yeah, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Onto the green section now. And we want to do the same thing, basically. Go over this cruise control block. I never agree with using cruise control on ice. I think it's a bad idea. But anyway, through the finish. And now onto this blue section and I'll try and get this start, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so what we want to do, similar thing to what we did on white. Head down early. Yeah, it's just, it, it's just a really bad start. It's not smooth and it just doesn't feel well made, personally. All right, so let's do it. So start high, drop down, make the jump. There we go, we got it that time, but eh, it's, it's not very good. I, d I really don't think... I think this blue section's really, really bad. But yeah, base, just around the bobsleigh. Stay as far left as you can to dodge that pillar and then through the finish. Okay, now for the red section. What we want to do... Over the boost, over the bobsleigh. Try and stay high on the bobsleigh. And make it into the finish. So, you got to make sure you're coming out of the bobsleigh to the left. Um, otherwise, you'll you'll sort of get cannoned into that, that pillar. So it's kind of confusing, basically you want to uh, kind of enter it with as much speed as possible and like point up the up the wall kind of thing. It's it's a bit finicky to get, a little bit confusing. Okay, now onto the black section and this is just a complete overuse of blocks in my opinion. Uh, he's just, just placed things everywhere and it just does not work at all for me. But let's have a go. So we're going around here, over the engine off, gather speed from the turbo. Have enough to clear this anti-boost over the reactor and just there's just so many blocks here dude it's just unnecessary um but again build up speed we have to go through this bobsleigh try and maintain speed to get to this reactor boost stay right and jump into the finish it just yeah i, I just think there's just way too many blocks to achieve what he's trying to achieve like control speed and stuff i think there's a better way to do this Better ways to do that than with just a million blocks, personally. But anyway, let's do a second playthrough of the map now. So again, with white, we just basically go down this uh, bobsleigh wall through the finish. On green, same again. Go down this, keep speed. And it's just, it's just rough. It just feels rough and uncalculated, a lot of this map. Um... But yeah, I mean, and now the blue start again. Let's see if we can do it. Same as before. Grab this, D 
down, make the jump. Yeah, we got it. Need to maintain speed here, though, to make the finish. And also, we don't want to hit that. We might still creep to the finish. Ideally, you don't want to hit that because uh, it's, it's a lot slower. Obviously, we lost lots of time there at the end, but we did still make it. Okay, red one more time. So again, try and maintain as much speed as possible. And through the finish. So yeah, I guess kind of staying low on that bobsleigh and, and steering left is kind of what I'm doing there. It's, it's pretty hard to explain. Um, but basically, you want to get into that groove of the bobsleigh where you'll enter it, you exit it smoothly as opposed to exit it with it pushing you to the right. Yeah, it's, it's, it is difficult, that, that red section. Okay, now the black section one final time. Over the turbo, engine off. <laughs> Try and not hit a pillar there. It was very close. Maintain speed for this anti-boost over this reactor. Into this bobsleigh. Follow it around. Try and maintain speed coming into this bobsleigh. So that we have enough to clear the anti-boost and grab the reactor up. And then just through the finish. Okay. And that is going to be Ease Meltdown by ZS Sork. Um, yeah, again, uh, it's not my favorite map. I... I I just think it's, he tried to do something different and for me it just didn't work out. It's just a bit awkward and, and a bit rough, I guess, so. It's okay though. Um, it's finishable. It's just, yeah, it just doesn't, it just personally doesn't work for me. But there you have it. I hope this uh, helps you guys learn the map a little bit. It's uh, it's very awkward to drive, but you'll um, stick with it. You'll, you'll pick it up for sure. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.